Brodies, what do you do, man? We are back with the midfielders tier list. Now, all the midfielders that are meta, that are relevant. Let's get into it. Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of the description. Use code META for 5% off. Now, I'm not going to lie, there's not as much cards like the Attackers. The Attackers was probably the most cards I've ever seen in a tier list, bro, because I've literally tried to compile the best versions of certain cards, as well as, obviously, the relevant cards that are meta, you know, even if they were released back in, like, October. Do you get what I'm saying? So, overall, though, I think most of the cards right now are mostly consisting of icons. Uh, you see a couple of pink cards here and there, obviously, Team of the Years. And, yeah, I don't really have that much evolutions from what i'm seeing but there's not really that much evolutions that are meta right now in my personal opinion you know um Bernardo said oh that's not even an evolutions but yeah let's get into it man we do, oh, got top tier which is top of the line it is literally god mode god tier i think every pro loves that card um everybody that uses that card loves them and they just top of the line bro literally so i've added obviously one more um like tier level because there's so much cards, especially now with all the promos being included, um, you know, the likes of Evolutions. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of cards in general, bro. So we obviously got S tier, which is also top of the line, but it's not quite on that level. Do you get what I'm saying? It's still very, very good, bro. I'm not going to lie. If your card is in top tier or S, just know they are the top of the line within that certain position. So let's get into it. Stop mambling and stop yapping. We do have our Betty Pele. Now, this type of card, in my opinion, is just... It's, I'm gonna be straight up, bro, especially in these type of videos. It's just a mid card overall, bro. You need a card, especially if you are using him as an, a cam. By the way, this consists of ball winners, which is your CDMs, your CMs, which is your box to box players, and obviously your cams. Yes, cams are regarded as midfielders. Um, you can regard him as attackers, but they also can play the role of a CM. Uh, you know, they can be offensive, they can be defensive. But I feel like this type of card, with a lack of obviously finishing, and his play styles is okay with Rapid Plus. For now, I'm going to place him at A+. Plus. Could objectively change. We'll see towards the end. Stay tuned for that. Now, I like to always include the top of the line cards, especially Team of the Years. They've got to be top tier, bro. Come on, man. Bonmati, Poteas, everybody loves those type of cards. Same thing with the Bruyne. I mean, he's one of the best passers in the game. You have to put them at top tier, bro. These cards is what separates the weak from the strong, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we got the likes of Allison, which, in my opinion, wasn't obviously a conventional midfielder when he came out. But people used him, and they did not like him. He kind of was just lanky. He just didn't do the job. And he was so expensive, bro. 700k. For a card that doesn't even have decent enough playstyles. And he has unique body to compensate for the dribbling. But overall, man, I think it wasn't the greatest CM under the sun, man. I'm going to put him at B+. But uh, yeah, we got the next one being Baggio, which came out recently. Um, kind of was a decent enough cam. Obviously, with the 5 star skills, he always has that very nice like type of flair play in his game style. So I do think technical plus and ping pass is nice. You can even play him as an RCM in a 4-3-2-1. So completely up to you. I do think lack of dribbling aspects like agility and balance, especially with him being... Uh, i'd say more of a lanky player doesn't really play that much um to his um you know advantages but i do think as a ball winner uh sorry not ball winner ball like player ball maker um ball maker is that a word what am i saying do you get what i'm saying someone that can pass that can go forward i do think he's on that level of a plus could potentially go down obviously within the next few months you know he's gonna dissipate unique body type is nice but uh, i'm trying to think is he better than a Betty Pele though? Because a Betty Pele has the pace. We'll leave him there for now. We'll leave Bajo there for now. Could potentially change towards the end. We got Barella though as the next one. Came out very recently and you can see some cards I didn't include that just came out very recently because nobody's used them or I don't have enough time or expertise or knowledge to say where they rank. Do you get what I'm saying? So overall though, 5 star weak foot is nice for that direct passing type of play. Incisive is probably the best passing playstyle in my personal opinion it's just so pinpoint the accuracy is amazing long ball pass as well in terms of a passer bro this man's literally like a cheap shabby per se so what we can do is we can place him at a plus as well very very nice solid cm in terms of versing him i do think the lack of like skill moves to transition up the pitch is a little bit you know not the greatest but short and normal he's gonna feel like a very small shabby bro i mean shabby is already small so 
very cheap shovy let's just say that and the herrera nothing crazy i'll be completely honest a for me right now he is actually kind of lanky in game um doesn't play too much to his advantage like i don't think his main aspect is because what from what i'm seeing like he's called i thought he was going to be like a very physical monster but in game he just sometimes just doesn't have that you know what i mean uh yeah overall i think maybe for past and present it's fun to use him you know shout out man united and that but yeah same thing with banini though she was a decent enough in the start of the game but right now there's just so much better options do you get what i'm saying we're not obviously ranking them according to value or you know that per se but i think force the force incisive is nice she lacks that sprint speed that pace split is killing her alongside defending it's kind of a like card where you slap in midfield you don't know what really they can do i mean the finishing is nice but lack of sprint speed is what kills the card i'm a placer at a for now we got the main man becker man oh my days ladies and gentlemen if we're looking at a card that you just want to have fun with bro something like a shovy i like saying shovy because the way uh, he was probably my favorite player back in his time Th just the way the guy could pass bro i just wish iniesta had a um obviously icon card because oh bro it's literally similar cards within that realm bro like beckham was a beast in his time and i do think they give uh, this card a little bit more meta qualities you know what i mean like a little bit better pace he does obviously have forster forster now um unique body type and i think he's always had forster forster that's my bad but his play styles is very nice even his base play styles in terms of a passer and stuff it's amazing but i wouldn't put him at s obviously i do think as a passer and someone that can play that role especially if you add the right chem style so maybe something like a i don't know man i'm thinking an engine bro on him i just like adding engine because it makes them turn better and it increases the power uh, the pace so essentially a plus for me is perfect for him right now by the way we can also see towards the end maybe i can place one or two cards going down so i'm trying to look Bajor is okay there betty pill is okay and herrera yeah i think for now that's f perfect we got the likes of balak i'm not gonna lie probably one of the worst valued cards in the game even just in terms of meta he's just not great i haven't really versed him that much to know or used him but i do know that people that have used him <laughs> absolutely hate him bro he's just like a lanky like doesn't have any meta qualities bro in my personal opinion he used to be good though he used to be good but uh, we got clock which came out obviously as an evolution shot a clock right there um four star four star ping pass and press proven so in terms of ball retention he is going to be amazing i'm also just looking at his stats i did actually verse him a couple of times this weekend you know a lot of people that have this card rock play um i think it's past and present liverpool teams so fair enough if you have this card he looks like an absolute beast and i definitely think a plus for me personally speaking is the right call benton core as well similar to actually uh clock um I think they both have this okay now benson goes a little bit taller so it's gonna be a little bit more lanky if this guy gets the upgrade i'm not too sure what sh they've just released so much card so i don't know what showdown they released if tottenham won it or not do you get what i'm saying <laughs> so i have no idea if this card got upgraded but if he did very close to a plus for now i'm gonna place him at a nothing great bro i'll be completely honest man bellingham come on bro the absolute belling goal absolute beast man definitely s um sorry top tier Kel uh, kalanoglu hopefully if pronounced his name right very very difficult to pronounce but i think as a cm slash cam kalanoglu doesn't really place as meta but obviously can get upgraded now four star four star i think this is like one of the more meta cards that he's had in fifa bro um he does play to his advantages with the play styles i think in terms of dribbling and passing this card is going to be phenomenal man um i wouldn't just say a plus right there though i'll be completely honest you can use the likes of barella better you know those type of smaller cards what is his height as well five foot ten it's in that middle realm but yeah we got the broiner which is i'd say this specific version now let's compare the two if you look at this version this one has a couple of better qualities if you look at the plus on the left hand side this one's cheaper by like a mole this one has five star five star ladies and gentlemen Five star skill moves on the Bruyne is probably the most deadliest thing you can ever have, bro. Inside a pass as well. If you look at the stats difference, not really that much um, difference. A little bit, not too much though. But I mean, in terms of the lack, uh, sorry, the um, lowered stats, but he still has the five star, five star. I'm placing him at top tier, ladies and gentlemen. He is getting top tier. I don't care what anyone says. The Bruyne in this game is probably the best passer. 
So if V has 5 star, 5 star, it's, it's, it's a GG's bro, it's done, it's a wrap. It's 5 star skills to transition, and especially it doesn't have the worst defending stats. Do you get what I'm saying? I mean, 5 star plays a huge role bro with the skill moves. But yeah, we got the likes of the pull, nothing great. Um, just in that middle realm bro, like, I like to say the A and below is just cards that you don't really, like, strive for. You kind of want to get past that type of cards and just use cards that stay in the team bro, the longevity aspect. Do you get what I'm saying? We got Simmons though, Shavi. Simmons, and I do like Shavi Simmons actually in this game. Um, he's very small, very nimble, so he moves very quickly. And I do think I like his pace. Finishing and dribbling aspects. Just passing is a little bit low, but technical in terms of holding down that R1 on PlayStation, RB on Xbox, in terms of like transitioning up the field will be amazing. For me, I'm placing him A+, bro. Shavi Simmons is a solid, solid card. And I do think... They are out though, so you won't get upgraded fully. I do think over time, we'll go down to A though. I think within the next month even. We've got Bruno Fernandes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of people love this card. It's a very tough one, bro. This might rattle some of you guys, but... Because of the lack of skill moves and weak foot, do you know what I mean? He was good, don't get me wrong. When he came out, he was definitely S tier and top tier, bro. If not top tier. Right now, I think he's S tier. If he had one more, like, inclusion of weak foot or skill moves, then I think he'd definitely be at least in top tier a bit. A lot of people used him, though, but I do think over time will... I mean, you won't, like, strive to use Fernandez. You'll go towards someone else. Do you get what I'm saying? So, we do have Sir Bobby Charlton right there, an absolute goat in his time for United. But I do think right now, not top tier because of the lack of skill moves. But in terms of a cam hate versing him he has insane pace bro i can never verse this guy how much is he because i kind of want to use him in the future because i've used him in draft i've versed him you know it's a car that was i mean he's 675 that is brilliant value obviously the five star weak foot is a huge huge increase and i do think with one more special card he's get, getting top tier 100 percent mcallister kind of similar to a um ball playing cam um i'd say a better bajo probably Obviously, without the skill move, so we're gonna kind of see where he ranks. They did win. Um, I forgot who they were versing for the showdown, but ping pass is nice. Pace attribute is uh, very, very good. In terms of defending stats, not really the greatest. He's more of a offensive CM, I'd say. So for that reason, I'm gonna place him at A plus for now. You know what I'm thinking though. I feel like I feel like these two can go down. This one goes in A. Because A+, plus, I think, nah, I think that's perfect. I think we are doing well for what we have. So, let's try and look for cards that are S tier. And we, oh sorry, not S tier, top tier. Which is top of the line. Every pro player will use them. Like, it's kind of like if you, if coins was not an option, these are the cards you go for. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why they're top tier, bro. They've got the skills, the play styles, the stats. You always get the, the just of it, man. We got Sawa now. This is one that I'm actually going to break down because there's something about Sawa that I absolutely hate. And it's just that, like, not the the ball retention is amazing. That's one thing as well. But the way she comes back to always bite you, bro, in the ass. It's always a thing. Trust me, if you go past in, in the midfield, she's coming back, bro. She's going to get that ball again. And that's what I hate. I think it's her relentless, literally her relentless passion for the ball, bro. And in that reasoning, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of a CM, she's top tier, bro, 100%. Even without the skill moves and weak foot. A lot of people has enjoyed Sawa, and it's not because I'm tending more to kind of like, um, please, oh, I wanna please people, no. I do think Sawa's actually top tier, bro. She's one of the best midfielders in the whole game, bro. She just the way she intercepts in this game and if you use this she's amazing bro especially the way she transitions up the field after the interception do you get me but yeah we got the likes of ronaldinho he's best in his category bro it's top tier is like literally the best in the category and i think in terms of a skiller he's the best bro literally has his own like way of movement his animations in game it's a phenomenal solid cam right there we got the likes of socrates now this is an interesting one i'm gonna place him at s for now hold on let's look at his card because he came out recently and I don't want to jump the gun. I do think in terms of a midfielder, he is probably one of the best, more versatile cards. You can play him at CM because even without the defending, he does have the um, the increased height. Do you get me? Six foot four, incisive and technical. I'm not going to lie, in terms of his own 
like version there's no six foot four car that can move like him tell me i'm wrong bro he is top tier 100 percent burkamp i love this card in this game oh burkamp is a beast probably one of the best cheap cams in the whole game bro in terms of value sorry best valued card he's not cheap um it depends on how, how much coins you have now how, how you are rocking with coins but yeah five star skills is nice he's got the likes of amazing pace um you can obviously get his five star weak foot version both i'd say suffice and they both end up in a plus not s though that's a little bit od let's look at mckinney though mckinney is it western mckinney right there he obviously um has the links to quadrado the ball out you get what i'm saying so five star skills is nice he is a objective, I think. Is he? Um, let me just check. I don't know if he's an objective or what. He is an objective, as you can see. I think it's in season progress. And that is completely my bad. Western McKinney objectives, 20,000 XP to get him. We have not used him. We have not versed him for now. What I can see, the type of card that he is, he's obviously not going to be an s tillers card because of the lack of weak foot um and also just lack of like finishing and those type of cards um sorry stats in terms of like a box to box cm he's going to be very good bro i know a lot of people will use him i'd say a plus for now it's probably one of the only cards that i've included that i have not used no one's used but uh, yeah depending on where you are <laughs> in what is it um in the season progress but yeah we still got a couple of cards though we got the likes of mccaskill which is a i'm not gonna lie this promo was weak i think it was the how do you spell this lady's name bro mccaskill this promo was very weak the showdown one bro i'm not gonna lie incisive finesse shot decent enough stats but i'm not gonna be a stat merchant in my opinion she just deems at a bro like i do think someone like a shavi simmons a burr camp is a little bit better um just the animations you know you don't just look at stats the whole time it's how they they are in the game we got the likes of cruz now cruz is definitely not top tier but he is S tier because he's got four, five star weak foot, can still get the option to upgrade. Even judging by his card now, he can literally do anything. You can slap this guy at RCM in a 4 3 2 1. He will defend, he will pass, he will, you know, attack, he can shoot as well um, with the shot power and stuff. In terms of anticipate as well, the defending, the interceptions, it's a nice card, bro. It's an S tier card. You boys already know. Look at the price as well. But yeah, Pedri, same thing with Pedri, I'm not gonna lie. Pedri for me is just kind of like how Sanchez should be uh, or how he was back in the older FIFAs. But that's Pedri in this game. Uh, in this game, sorry. Voice crack. Anyone finishing is a little bit the only con in this card. But I do think the way he moves in this game is one of the better smaller cards, bro. Five foot nine as well. Kind of a better Barella. Uh, so for that reasoning, I will place Pedri above Barella right there. And high, high. For now, we'll place it as Schweiny, Schweiny, Schweiny. Ladies and gentlemen, I call him that. I don't know if a lot of people call him that, but Schweinsteiger right here. You can choose his five star weak foot or his five star skill moves one. And he's 400k, bro. That is phenomenal value. In terms of a CM, now we obviously does not have all the meta stats in the world, but I do think this type of card is very close to S. I just feel like it's 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 kind of putting me more towards the a plus category bro because if i look at his stats it's not looking like the greatest under sun it's looking a little bit mid you know he's got okay dribbling uh like agility and um balance wise but in terms of reactions and composure and obviously shot power and stuff it's nice but i wouldn't say he's s bro that's just me personally speaking man maybe the five star skill version is very close to s for now i'm gonna place him at a plus same thing with gerard as well Jared is actually kind of nice, bro. There's very few cards that like move like Jared in game. Kind of like a lanky Lorente. He's like a Lorente, bro. Literally, a better Lorente. Incisive ping pass. He's got the likes of obviously decent enough um, pace. If you had a shadow on him, uh, depending on what you're using the card as, I think as a CDM, shadow is perfect. As an engine for a CM, maybe. And he goes to a 93 uh, rated CM. I'm going to place him at A plus for now. I do think there are better cards out there. Um, especially for the meta, do you know what I mean? So yeah, for now I'll place him there. Got Gattuso. Something about Gattuso just throws me off a bit, bro. I think it is his lack of pace for a CM. You know, he doesn't catch up that quick. But when he, if you use him as a more of a conservative CDM, someone that sits back like four, two, three, one, it's okay, bro. Nothing crazy. Intercept is nice. Doesn't have that much base play styles. I'm gonna place him at B plus for now. I don't think people go out their way to use him. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I included this man in my... Um, like the best cheap cards that are like weirdly cheap. Like shockingly cheap. This man right here. Milinkovic Savage, boys. Sergei or Sergei. Five star, five star, six foot four. You're looking at a cheaper root hullet, bro. Literally, like I'm not gonna lie, 25,000 coins for this card is crazy. If you add a shadow, it goes to controlled lengthy, right? He basically goes to a 90 rated CDM with five star, five star. The playstyle pluses of intercept and press proven, so ball retention and um, obviously increased agility and balance will compensate for his height. Nah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Malinkovic Savage is getting A, plus, bro. I don't care what anyone says. Despite price and everything, bro, this card is phenomenal, bro. Why am I saying despite price? It's 25k. I mean, included the price, you know what I mean? Rapino, she's okay, nothing crazy right now. Bernardo Silva, I think, with one more, two more upgrades. <sighs> Bernardo Silva is crazy in this game. Something about him, like, the way he plays in-game, no matter what, um, like, new card comes out, he still feels insane. Four-star, four-star. Insights of technical. Bernardo Silva is a very irritating card to verse, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But I do think lack of like um, the acceleration, sprint speed debacle is a little bit sus. But um, overall though, is is he worth placing it A? It's a very tough one, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Does he get A plus? Because Bernardo Silva, like if a pro were to use him, right? That's how I also see it. I feel like a lot of people will actually cook with him because he has an amazing passing and obviously the technical plus, I think, he does have. Yeah, you see, I think the technical plus carries the card a lot. For now, I'm going to place him at A+, plus, bro. We got SCN S for sure. Very nice CDM. You only get a few of those type of cards and he is a beast. Marjorie, bro, best cheap, probably most versatile midfield in the game. She can defend, attack. She can literally do everything, bro. She can play as a CDM, CM or cam. I like that card, man. A plus for sure. The likes of Del Piero does his job as a five-star weak-footed, um, obviously, cam. Nothing crazy. Gundo one, I'd say as a box-to-box -box CM, Gundo one is a very nice, solid option, um, especially if you want to link some, like, Barca players, etc. But Anticipate is nice. Um, it's just a bit weird because he doesn't have that much defending. He has amazing defensive awareness, right? And Anticipate plus, so he can play as that CDM, bro. I'm not going to lie. As that, like transitional cdm so for now i'm gonna place him at a plus marquis so definitely better than like the cards at a plus it's a very tough one because i know a lot of people will say mike why aren't you placing him at top tier marquis so is a beast i think you can definitely get better options at top tier right now anticipate and block plus is nice but it's kind of other stats that are throwing me off like is defending is 85 as the base like 82 shooting as a base i wouldn't put a card like that at top tier do you get what I'm saying? That's why there's S tier though. We got the likes of Rolfo. Now she is top tier, bro. I don't care what anyone says. Rolfo is basically a better Sawa. They're both insane in their own rights. But I do think she's going to actually... This might sound sus. She's going to edge... No, let me not say it like that. That's crazy. She's basically going to beat Sawa when she gets the upgrade at 90 do you know what i mean like sh she's already beating her in my opinion um i think sour's interceptions is a little bit better and like the the relentlessness but in terms of a actual like overall cm she does everything bro rolfo is a top tier cm i don't care what anyone says you can literally play her anywhere um obviously in the defensive minded structured um roles gavi nothing crazy um Kimmich a little bit better than like Gavi and that per se he was decent when he came out Lavelle now these type of cards not a lot of people will use I mean she's 32k she's got the five star week but if you use these type of cards fair enough to you man I, I respect it but I do like her stats but I think in game she won't be better than a plus personally speaking as a cam as well um we got Martins I do like Martins with the five star skills um, kind of in that role, they actually do exceed a little bit of expectations. Um, five star skills, four star weak foot, she's got incisive pass. Um, yeah, overall, 70 stamina though, that really, oh bro, that is bad. That was one thing I was looking at. 70 stamina for a midfielder? She's abs, her card's been absolutely massacred, bro. I think because of the lack of stam, I mean, her card is good. Let's just say that. You can always just sub her out, but she'll still give her 100% for like 50 minutes, bro. <laughs> you got the likes of Keen. 
I do think Keen is a very nice ball winner, especially with the increased stats now. Um, overall, though, you can use his 5-star skilled one, I think, just to at least transition a little bit better. Would you use him over the over the the five star weak foot it's completely up to you i'd use the uh, the skill move one though um i do think as a cdm goes he's kind of a very very nice solid ball winner bro but there's just other stats that throw him off like he's tall doesn't have the best agility definitely add an engine on this type of card um and you will see he will actually be a very nice solid cdm and i will place him at a plus for now man same thing with i think it was petite right there I wouldn't place Petite at S, bro. That is crazy. I do think A plus for now works. Those type of midfielders, they actually do their job, if not a little bit better than what you expected. Kante is S for me, bro. He is in his own right, kind of like a sour, but a little bit worse, bro. Oh, man. I just wish Kante had an icon card in the next FIFAs, hopefully. And then that card will be like a sour. It will be like, or sour will be like him. There we go. Very nice card. I think the lack of sprint speed does... I mean, you don't really see it in-game. This man is very quick, bro. He's rapid. But in terms of a CDM, probably one of the better CDMs. That's why he's S. So, yeah. For now, place him there. We've got Kessler. She's nice. Um, I do think there is kind of better options out there. But for the price, she's like under 200k. As you can see, 4-star, four 4-star. Four star. Trivela, Relentless. Um, yeah. She's, she's giving as a card, bro. Why did I say that? A plus for me, she does her job. We got Cole Palmer, very cold card. I think as a cam goes, he is phenomenal, but not a top tier, bro. I think the lack of, there was something that threw me off. Because I included him as an attacker, I think it was. Did I include him? Yeah, it was the defending. Now, if you want to use Cole Palmer as a cam, lamb, ram, he's S, 100%. Top tier as a cam, though. I'm not going to lie. Very close to top tier. If he had maybe the five star skills, that's top tier, bro. So for now, I'm going to place him at S, though. Solid, solid CM. We got Modric. Everybody likes Modric, man. And he's depleted over the the, uh, the the months. Do you know what I mean? I feel like for now, kind of in that realm of still doing his job, but falling off that bandwagon, bro. Oberdorf, very nice CM. A lot of people sleep on this type of card um, because they're always going for, you know, um how can i explain i'd say the more taller approach is better and she is taller right but they're going for the smaller cards like a sour as i said like how, how tall is sour we can actually check if we compare the two sour is doesn't show her height but i know she's smaller um obviously judging by in-game but yeah five foot nine she's a little bit taller she has the lack of like the the sprint speed but in terms of a cm goes she's definitely getting the s tier bro I do think not top tier though. That is a bit OD. Very nice card, Mateus, bro. Do I need to explain more? That might be the best versatile card in the whole game. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, another guy said in my past video, I say bro a lot. And I say not gonna lie. I'm trying to fix these subconscious sayings, bro. Uh, nonetheless, though. Oh, <laughs> 4 million for a reason, bro. Mateus. Speaking of Mateus. There is one that I forgot, and it is Patrick Vieira. Now, a lot of people ask me in the comments for, like, their lesser versions, where they rank. So, do ask me in the comments if you don't really see your version right here. I always include the best version of each card. Um, obviously, if it's relevant, like an SPC, I'll include that version as well. Um, like, I think I did it for... Who did I do it for? Did it for someone. But you will see, obviously, Vieira is there, is at uh, top tier. But I'd say Vieira's base is S. And then this one is top tier. 100 percent we got Ruart right there she's okay bro nothing crazy five star weak foot as well i mean if you're running a pass and present city team fair enough to you i'd say this type of card is so much of these cards and for me personally speaking i'm gonna place her at a bro there's nothing crazy about her renato sanchez a you can actually get a better version of him i didn't really include that version because i don't think anyone will have it and it is that pink one you will see it i think it was was it the weak foot peak one or was it the other one? No, it wasn't this one. Because welcome to evolutions. It was this one right here. The birthday magic five star skilled Renato Sanchez. Solid CM. I think A plus for sure. But I do think this version right here. The, um, what is it? The 86 right now gets A, bro. Like he's not how he used to be, bro. I have used him a couple of times. Nothing crazy. Same thing with Pablo Barrios, man. I think a better version of him is obviously a little bit better. But another, I think a lot of people did not use that um, evolutions though to uh, 
to upgrade him. It was the glow up, as you can see. He gets 89. Three star skills for CM's not great. But I'd say A for now. Nothing crazy, man. Ramirez, very nice CM. It's a very tough one. Does he go at top tier? Because as a CDM goes, I wouldn't place him alongside the main man, Patrick Vieira, bro. That's just the game, man. Uh, in terms of a CDM goes, man, he is phenomenal. It's kind of like a better Kante. Um, yeah, but for now, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you don't even see him. I've used this um, Ramirez. You don't see him sometimes, bro. But he is still S. He's a very solid card. I just don't think he's on the line of like a Mateus, a Vieira. Even a Sawa, bro. But speaking of top tier, I do think this one is definitely going top tier. And I don't really see him here. No, I do. Yaya Torre. Now, he is definitely getting top tier because he has the increased... I don't know, bro. It's the animations. I've used his 87. I haven't had the opportunity to use the 88 or 90. But I do know, don't look at stats. Just get this card in your team. You will see what he does for you. Very solid card. Kind of like a Busquets in his prime. Do you know what I mean? Does the ball off the, uh, does the off the ball movement amazing? And obviously on the ball, he is just as uh, much, just as good. Sorry. That was insane speech right there. We got the likes of Musiala though. In terms of a cam goes, solid, solid. Probably the better dribblers right there in the game. And a lot of people overlook him, man. I do think this type of card in game absolutely cooks me because if you can skill with him, trust me, you're going to have so much fun. He's 50,000 coins. I do think in terms of... It's a solid card, bro. Is he S though? That's the, the main question. I don't think he's S. For now, I'm going to place him at A+, plus though. Uh, you, you kind of know if, if a card is S or not. Like Kaka, like this card is S, bro. Definitely not top tier, though. Normal, I know a lot of people ask me about normal version of Kaka. It's fallen off the, the, the curve a little bit, but if you want someone that's fun, you know, that has the skills um, to pay the bills, bro, definitely get him. He's a fun card, man. And you don't always have to ask me if a card is good or not. You can just use him, try him out, you know. At the end of the day, you can always just sell them. You might obviously not make profit or anything it's up to you unique body type five star skills lack of finishing though does put him at s still a very nice card bro per se rice 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 baby i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna put rice at top tier bro he's not on the level of a patrick Vieira. he's 2.5 mil yes but i think other things like shooting dribbling if you're paying 2.5 mil co um, coins for 63 agility cm then that's on you. But if you've packed him, you will know he's very good in-game. Because, like, in-game animations, he's ball control. He, um, for such a big card, is very nice. And interceptions, of course, is amazing. Rykard does his job as a CDM. I think better center-back than CDM, but interceptions, per se, is amazing. Rivaldo? Mm, that's a very tough one. Where did I place Rivaldo yesterday? I placed him, obviously, he's an attacker. I think because of him having a better weak foot... Especially how good Rivaldo was, and it was always his weak foot holding him back. I think Rivaldo is a solid, solid card. There is better options. I think 81 balance throws him off a bit, especially as a cam. Because we are basing him according to a cam. I'd say better winger. Close to S. In terms of a cam, A+. plus. Does that make sense? Because I'm trying to think, man. It's a tough one. High, low, tall and lean. Mm. very tough one i do think this type of one is kind of um, on the fence of so i will just place him for my gut feeling i think the passing is nice i'll place him at s because i don't think he's on the level of the alpiero or burkamp he's a little bit better so for now i'll place him at s rodri did not even see his card bro <laughs> if you want one of the the better ball winners in this game uh someone like a cheaper Vieira and by cheap I mean like still 2.6 mil <laughs> you got the likes of Rodri bro for someone so tall and so physical and so aggressive he has amazing ball retention with a press proven plus 99 stam he goes on for days and he can do anything man you add a shadow on this man he's going to get top tier bro 100 percent mm, we got the likes of Sadov I do like Sadov I wouldn't play Sadov at S though still a very nice CM in terms of box-to-box -box options, very solid. Got the likes of Sergio Ramos, decent enough CDM. I'm not going to lie, actually, wait. Ramos doesn't deem me as an A-plus card. I don't care what anyone says, man. 315k, he's got Anticipate Plus. In-game, 
Okay, the reactions is amazing. Yeah, I think A plus for sure. Um, you don't really verse this type of card though. Do you know what I mean? So for now, I'm, I'm basing them according to stats, straight up. Because not a lot of people use this card. We got the likes of Andrea Pirlo. I'm not going to lie, he only has the five star skills going for him, man. I think I'm being a little bit too harsh. We'll place him at A for now. Um, he's okay, bro. Nothing crazy. It kind of does highlight the fact that maybe Ellison goes up one if... Because they do their job, do you know what I mean? I need nah, I think Andrea Pello goes nah. I think that's perfect, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the likes of Makalele. Now this is a very tough one. Because Makalele is kind of like a what is this card called? Um a Essien. 855k. He's got a quick step. So in terms of pace, rapid. Probably a better Kante. Does he deem a top tier though? If he had the five-star skills, bro. Ah, oh, that's tough. But he's, he's a CDM. He doesn't need the skills. Do you know what I mean? He's got amazing physicality, amazing defending. Dribbling could do with some work in terms of his actual dribbling. So maybe add like a marksman. Um, I don't think putting him at top tier is the right choice though. I'm not going to lie. He's not on the level of a Mateus of Vieira. But he is S. He's very close to it. But for now, I think there is a better... The Basically, the, the meaning of top tier means... There's insane cards at S, yes, but there's always that one better option if you just save a bit of coins and you can get him. So for now, I'd place him at S. Odegaard was such a beast in his time when he got uh, included. Um, obviously, EA increased his pace. They increased his, um, what is it, um, like reactions and, uh, and stuff. Incisive was nice. I think even now, to this day, if you add a shadow on him, if you're playing him as a box box or an engine, I do think he'll be an A-plus card still. Because of the skill moves, you know what I mean? We got the likes of Labotka, which was a card that got included as a evil, uh, sorry, a showdown. Four star skills, um, sorry, weak foot. This card is just mid, bro, be completely honest, man. That's such a mid card. I'm going to place him at A, bro. It actually pisses me off, man. <laughs> Cloud Jopina is nice. I do like her card. Um, I have placed her at the best valued midfielders for quite a while right now, and I hate versing her. She's kind of like a cheap team of the year Puteas slash Bon Mati. Do you know what I'm saying? If you had all three in midfield, you're cooking, bro. Let's just say that. Incisive with finesse shot. Finesse shot, not really the greatest, but technical base play style ping pass is nice. Lacks the stamina, and that's the only downfall. Musa, nothing crazy. Guijaro, definitely A+. Um, especially this version right here. But the way you acquire this version is very tough. You have to kind of... Um, okay, if you look at it like this secret stuff so you had to do a evo with an evo bro do you know what i mean to get this version which is tough but i do think if you did get this version you are cooking with them and if you add the likes of an engine or shadow depending on where you're using them i think an engine is better for cm cdm uh, shadow is better do you know what i mean but she is amazing as a cm bro Oof. a plus for sure not s richardson probably one of the better cheaper um, midfield is in the game. You can actually inc um, increase his card if you did the Evo of Glow Up. I think a lot of people did though. Because I always see this version of this card and he is insane in game. Um, I do think this type of card is amazing. Just lacks of finishing. So play more as a... I think he's actually a, a good enough box-to-box -box CM, bro. Uh, it just lacks the finishing. That's the only downfall, man. But for now, A plus suffices, man. Does exceed expectations a bit. Schneider. Very tough one to decide. Does he go at top tier or S? Because Schneider in this game might just be one of the better, more small and nimble like ball players slash ball carriers. He's just a beast, man. The five star five star makes him amazing. Sprint speed could do with some work. In terms of a midfielder, I don't think he's a top tier. There is better options. Like if we look at it, he's not on the same level as Zidane or Zico. Do you know what I mean? But still very good. But yeah, we got likes of Stach or Stash. However you say his name, Stash, maybe, I don't know. Sorry to my Germans right there. Five star, five star is nice for someone that's 12,000 coins. What are we looking at, bro? That's what I'm saying with the inclusion of, of all these promos. You get a card that's five star, five star. When have we ever been like that, bro, in FIFA? That's a midfielder. Like this card back in, let's say, 2018, 2019 will be easily over 500k. You know what I mean? Like, that is crazy to me, bro. It actually pisses me off. I'm placing mid A. <laughs> but yeah, this type of card will be good in game, though. All jokes aside.
Press proven. Uh, I do think his stat is mid though. He just has the five star, five star going for him. Um, I do think a Milinkovic Savage is a little bit better, more meta. So I'll place him above. Do you know what I mean? That's what tiers are for. Georgia Stanway is a nice card in game, and she can get upgraded even more. And I actually include her. I included her. Sorry, as a beast. Um, what is it? What is it? Best valued midfielder. So jockey ping pass is nice. Um, amazing dribbling, like reactions dribbling. Um, and overall, just a very nice, solid, just a conventional, like, CDM, bro, in this game. Like, a cheaper sour per se. So, I will place her at A+. So, we got the likes of Shabbosly right there. Nothing crazy, I'll be honest. How do you say this guy's name? I always have, like, a brain aneurysm when I type his name out, bro. But I do think secret stuff, if you can get him, because I included this specific version. If you can get this version, I think, I doubt it, maybe... If people did him like if you're rocking a past and present liverpool because that's where you see most of these type of cards he's gonna be a very nice solid i'd say even a cm man i'd place him more as a cm than a cam so yeah completely up to you where you place him but yeah technical is nice as well we got the likes of tillemans can't defend in the game can't defend in real life bro tillemans for me i'm not gonna lie five star week foot is nice Nothing crazy about the card, man. If he gets maybe one or two more upgrades, A+. Plus. But for now, I'll place him there. We got Taliska. Taliska has always been a solid meta option. Even in the start of the game, he has that body type that not a lot of people have. If you look at his, this specific version, though. Um, Birthday Magic, I think it was. Which one did I include? Whichever... In, I think it was this one right here. Five-star skills for, obviously, and Rapid Plus. 77 stam does really massacre the card six foot two with 61 balance it's tough but in terms of skill moves and how he's gonna cook he will be at least a plus for me personally speaking man treasure gay definitely falling off the meta curve a little bit um there's better options out right now man you can literally get a 15k card that does the same thing tomori i'm not gonna lie not your conventional cdm in this game kind of like a worse ramos do you know what I mean? If we're talking non-conventional. But a Jockey Plus right there. Yeah. This card for me is just not great. As a CDM, it's kind of like a center back at CDM. That's how he plays, bro. For now, I'm placing him there. We got Velverde. I'm not going to lie. That is a very nice card, man. Um, you don't really verse Velverde that much, eh? I'm not going to lie. You don't verse him that much. Rapid Plus makes him amazing. Um, yeah. This is actually t a tough one. Because you don't really verse Velverde that much in this game. 289k as well. 3-star skills, unique body type is nice. I wouldn't put Valverde on the same level as Pedri or Cruz. For that reasoning, it's a very tough choice. I have to place him at A+. Xavi is S. I don't care what anyone says. It's not even... Bro, I try to be as unbiased and objective as possible in these tier lists. Give me this one at least, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting S. This might be a little bit biased, but Xavi, oh, bro, it's, I wouldn't prefer, I even want to place him at top tier, bro. That's how good Xavi is. I just love this card. I love him in real life. He's just a beast. The glazing is crazy, but very, very nice, solid card right there. I do think Xavi is getting S very close to top tier. Just the way he moves in game, very nimble. Uh, does he have technical? I think it is. He has technical, bro. Do we place him at top tier? Do we do it? Because top tier is top of the line. Okay, la, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll place him at S. Let's be composed, calm, cool, collected. We got Zaire Emery. This is actually a car that you don't see a lot because no one's going to spend over two mil for Zaire Emery, bro. He was two mil a couple of days back. He has plummeted. Let's check. Okay, he was two mil in about February. So I have just not checked his price. He went up a bit and then he dropped. This card is such a beast, bro. With the five star skills. He is going to be an insane midfielder for anyone's team, man. I just wish he kind of was included as a SPC because you'd see more. And I do think a lot of people will cook with this card. But for now, lack of obviously shooting aspects, defending. It's kind of like a card you put at midfield. You don't know if he's a CDM or a cam. Do you know what I mean? It's like that. But for now, definitely S. He's a solid card. What is he done? Now, this is this specific version. He's definitely fallen off the meta curve. Might I add something? If you have the Z done. Just trust me, right? Put this card at Lamb or Ram. Trust me on this. You will see how good this card cooks, bro. 
in terms of a uh, sorry an attacker. Something about him, he has increased pace. The dribbling feels amazing. I, I was using him at um, CDM a lot of the time, but I put him at a, as an attacker, like a lamb or ram. He was cooking, bro. He could literally like pace above anyone, bro. So for me, I'm placing him at S though in terms of a midfielder. And I'd obviously say his better version is top tier. Let's move over to the very last one. And this is a difficult one to get. I think it is Lorente. Um, I think it was this specific version. Now, the way you get this card is through, obviously, Evos. And it is Birthday Magic 1 or 2. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, if you do this card, you will know he feels amazing in game. But he doesn't have the defending stats. I do think a lot of people said he's this version is better, obviously, better stats, but doesn't have the five star skills. The other one does. I'd say A plus is the perfect play for him. But yeah, that is the video, ladies and gentlemen. That is the midfielders ranked in a TLS system. We're gonna do the defenders, which is the left backs, right backs, center backs, and then the goalkeepers if you really want that. But that is the S TLS right there. You will see amazing cards. I'd say S and top tier is what differentiates the extra wins bro in champs it gets you that extra wins in champs and i do think a plus is still good right but i do think they are going to fall off the meta curve in a month or two that's what a plus basically means they'll fall off like to a they'll still do their job but they won't like they won't have the wow factor anymore does that make sense so overall though i do think a plus is still good it's still very nice cards but we got obviously a and b plus these are cards you kind of want to like avoid you don't really want to use and yeah overall though we will place them there and we got the very top tier i mean bro like inclusively speaking this probably consists of 50 million coins all of these cards right here but yeah that's the video ladies and gentlemen hit that like subscribe tell me if i've obviously missed out a card or two and i will catch you boys in the next one for the defenders cheerios ladies and gentlemen hey.